All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about uh, real drama in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. It's real drama in the uh, real music world, uh, and it has to do with uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates. Holy crap, Batman. Wait till you hear... <laughs> it's just... Wow. Um, before we go there, uh, this... Might have to replace Hall and Oates. Robert, John, and the Wreck. Shine a light on me, brother. Seems like uh, these people in this particular band like one another. Robert, John, and the Wreck. If you like uh, Americana with a very uh, soulful bent to it, uh, this might be your thing. It's rock, it's blues, it's soul, it's R&B. It's kind of like uh, Hall and Oates a little bit in, in some regards, so appropriate that we're going to talk about daryl hall and john oates and uh reading this it's it's pretty crazy what's going on it went from one thing uh, to another and then this particular story from variety uh which again i uh had the other story last night and i wasn't gonna get up at uh, 12 o'clock at night and do a video uh, i had planned on addressing this today so Hall and Oates are embroiled in a confidential legal battle that has led Daryl Hall uh, to get a restraining order against his former music partner, John Oates. Now, I didn't know that they were no longer partners. Did you, did anyone, did, who, who, nobody, right? So little information about the lawsuit is publicly available as the court documents are sealed. So we go from a lawsuit, which was reported yesterday, and now we've got a restraining order. But based on court records, Hall filed an undisclosed complaint against Oates on November 16th, as well as a motion for a temporary restraining order, as reported by Philadelphia Magazine. The following day, the court officially issued a temporary restraining order which is supposed to begin on November 30th. The Nashville Chancery Court confirmed the existence of the lawsuit to Variety, but declined further comment because the lawsuit is sealed. TMZ noted, by the way, TMZ is always doing really good reporting. I know people think it's just, you know, uh, a tabloid or like uh, the National Enquirer, and, and they, they go for all of the real juicy stuff and... Uh, there isn't any substance to it. Well, uh, they make a good connection here. They say Hall actually disparaged Oates on uh, Bill Maher's Club Random podcast last year, saying this, you think John Oates is my partner? He's my business partner. He's not my creative partner. He went on and he said this, John and I are brothers, but we are not creative brothers. We are business partners. We made records called Hall and Oates together, but we've always been very separate, and that's a really important thing for me. Hall then went on to diminish the collaborative aspect of Hall and Oates using the duo's 1980 number one hit Kiss on My List as an example of their apparent creative separation. Hall says, I did all those harmonies, that's all me. Oates is not credited as a songwriter on Kiss on My List, but is listed as a co-producer with Hall. Hall and Oates, by the way, met back in 1967, formed their duo three years later, and have released 18 studio albums since their 1972 debut, Whole Oates. The pop R&B duo boasts six number one singles, including... Maneater, Rich Girl, Out of Touch, and uh, they didn't include all of them here. Hall and Oates toured together as recently as October of 2022, and they released their uh, latest studio album, Home for Christmas, but that was back in 2006. Both Hall and Oates have solo recording careers and have toured separately over the years, but the duo has never officially split up. <laughs> So, wow. Um, I always kind of suspected something was going on with Hall & Oates because uh, Hall & Oates is very much about Hall 
and not that much about oats. It's been that way uh, since the very beginning. And quite honestly, when you heard John Oates doing something, at least from my standpoint, you're like cheerleading, like, yay, John Oates got a vocal part here. This is cool. John Oates is singing lead on something. I remember, I think, uh, Possession Obsession was like the third or fourth single off of the uh, Big Bam Boom album. That's the one that had Out of Touch. That song just skyrocketed to number one. Um, obviously, a, a very Daryl Hall-oriented song. Uh, but I think the record label was like, you know, what? we'll give we'll give John Oates a song here. We'll, we'll see if we can get this to go up the charts. And it probably hit the top 30, maybe the top 20, but probably the top 30. And I'm like, this album is so big, even John Oates is um, on the radio, which I always used to root for John Oates. I think John Oates was really important on She's Gone. I mean, without his vocal on that, um, which really was their early signature song. But um, apparently Daryl Hall is just letting the cat out of the bag here with Bill Maher. I had not seen that podcast if i had i would have made a a video out of that because um he's just coming out and saying hey i'm the genius here i'm the creative guy he's not the creative guy we've got this name hall and oats and yeah that's a brand um are they the greatest duo in the history of music quite possibly i mean i'm not sure who's bigger or better people talk about like sam and dave and uh, there have been a number of, of great duos, um, the Righteous Brothers, who certainly uh, they got some mojo from with uh, You've Lost That Love and Feeling. But man, this is more than just a lawsuit. This is a restraining order. Um, so I guess Daryl and John moving forward may not be a thing. You may have to just go see Daryl Hall without John Oates or John Oates without Daryl Hall. And as more information uh, comes out on uh, the specifics of the lawsuit, which was filed in a Nashville court, uh, I will let you know about that. Um, in the meantime, folks, um, you've got this to listen to. One of the reasons I pulled this off the shelf is because um, these guys have some of that Holland Oats flavoring. Um, it's more, it's probably more oats. I don't know. It might be more Hall. It, it's it's good though shine a light on me brother uh this is robert john and the wreck they have come out with newer material and uh so you should check out all of their new releases just go over to spotify i guess if you want to get the latest stuff will probably appear at the top right i think that's how spotify works also folks um don't forget about um supporting the channel, all right? I'm losing my train of thought because I can't believe a restraining order, right? That's just crazy. So yeah, if you can support the channel, Patreon, a dollar a month, two bucks a month, whatever you can afford, it's helpful. Um, what's happening is that uh, I'm looking to make up for lost revenue. So I'm doing everything I can. I'm also doing product sponsorships now. So if you see products tagged on the channel, um, maybe you'll patronize one of those vendors and I might get a small commission for that. Um, but that would be up to you. I would never force anybody to buy a product if they didn't need that product. But if you'd just like to help out the channel, I would really appreciate that. Plus we're going into the Thanksgiving season. So I've got my uh, WKRP Thanksgiving t-shirt on. Um, the Turkey Drop, which is one of the greatest um, episodes in TV history, that will cheer you up. If you're, <laughs> if you're down and out and you want to be um, just going back in time and laughing at uh, Les Nessman, and, uh, you know, I thought turkeys could fly as God is my witness, right? So it's just one of the great moments in TV history. And to everybody, I hope, if you're traveling or if you're spending time with your family, um, that you have a great day and that you maybe decouple from the serious stuff going on in the world. Um, these guys may put Jonathan Cain and Neil Sean to shame. We'll, we'll find out. It doesn't appear that there's going to be any more Hall and Oates, but uh, who knows? Crazier things have happened, uh, and I'll keep you up to date. 
All right, uh, that's the video. See you soon.